Welcome guys, and today I have a tutorial on how to install a new ball server, and this is a, a ball server by by Hawk. This is version 13, just came out end of the month in April. And I was happy to see this one. I was having, uh, it was a lot of work to do the number 12. It, it was more elaborate than this one, but you'll see how this is loaded. I want to take you step by step. This is a ball server version 13 is all inclusive. Very well. Um, I want to go through here on the credits and make sure that um, we get credits to the people that develop the server. So we got Slack. Um, he created the bull server module, juice for the cider. And also all the balls by Hawk. And you see below all the other people that contribute to specific ball design, etc. Very well. Uh, we're going to follow these instructions. In download, I use Mediafire. You can use Mega as well to download this particular server or ball pack. But there are more instructions here. This is not as simple as it seems. You need to download a ball server from 2020 by Slack alongside also with the comp limp and i'm going to show you how that is that is done step by step guys this is not trivial if you need to use you need to apply these steps and then you're able to actually download the server we are talking about the new one and he's giving instructions here we need to delete any previous packs before you put the latest version of a of the ballpark that we are trying to in implement here. All right, so let me go through through this. I wanted to say a couple more things. And is that if you needed to go through all these links, uh, let me just show you here. The ball server, if you're going to have one, it says it's for CITES 6.1, which was for 2020, by the way. Um, but it still works. And you need to implement that because it will load other items in the cider for you and get you ready for that okay and the common limb or the common library it does have a number of other instructions they always tells you that it needs to be on top of these other servers uh so the common limb will be in instructions at the top i'll take you through that step by step uh this goes on and on and other things that you need to do um but like I said, you don't have to go through different videos or all these web pages to download the different files. I got direct links for you here. All right, so let's get started and take you step by step. All right, so here are the three files and they will be in direct links in the description box. So you don't go through add-ons or commercials or anything like that. You can download those and then we're going to go step one prep the stage which is adding the old ball server as well as the comb limb okay so i'm gonna extract the zip file not the new one but and also the common library so these two i'm extracting and I usually like to keep my desktop clean. So I'm going to delete these two zip files because we already um, uploaded those, extracted those zip files. So let me delete this here and that as well. I'm going to keep the new server by Hawk in the zip file for now until we're done. So first, the old, the, the old server we're going to install here from 2020. So you get two folders, the content and module. So we're going to copy those and bring them into the CIDR folder. 
Right, let me find my game. Steam apps, common, find my 2021. And there it is. We're going to find the cider folder, open that, and you have your folders there. There you go, the content, which will have the different servers, and then you got the module there too. So I'm going to dump here the new, two new fi files that, um, that we're bringing on. Now, let me show you something. It, there's a ball back there and it tells you to delete anything from before. I already had it, so I'm going to delete it to show you. So what you want it is to look like this. All right. And if you look at the module, when you're done, you're going to have a ball server Lua here in this folder. That's what we're loading now with by adding the old, you know, the old server. Okay. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to say just replace because I already had it. So once you're done, you should be all set. You should open these files and see that we had done what we wanted to do. So let me look at the content and there is the bold server. Again, this is the old one, but we are setting the stage, guys. This is one step by step. And when I did that, it also added, it should have added for you. If you didn't have it, you now you have a bold server in there. Okay. Now, the last part of setting up the stage for this is that in your configuration file or your ini file for the CIDR under Lua settings, you need to write this line in it. This is the comb limp, and it needs to be right at the top, right at the top of that group where you have all these Lua servers. And also you want the bowl server underneath. I had other, other stuff in there already, so don't worry about it. As long as the common library is on the top of that group, it should work properly. All right, having done that, you're gonna save the file and you should be all set. And all we need to do now is to bring the new ball pack by Hawk. We're gonna bring that version 13. So let's unzip this guy. We're gonna extract the goodies. And guys, I know, um, if you already have done this, uh, the warning here is to make sure that you have those all those elements in your CIDR for it to work in all the folders, as I said before, and uh, and then you do it in order in order to replace whatever ball service you had before. All right, so I'm gonna copy this. It's only one folder, which is the ball server. So let's go back there. Um, let's find our game. Let's follow the hierarchy here. There's the game folder. Now let's find the cider and I'm going to dump the folder right here and it's going to look for that. But let me, let's make sure again, remember that we already copied the both server in there. We need to take that out again. You say, wait a minute, we just loaded it and now we're taking it out. Yes, you have to have to be nothing in there now. But in doing that, we were able to load other stuff that was necessary for this to happen correctly. So let me make sure I'm doing this step by step. Let's copy the new one again um, and let's get to the cider and we're going to paste it in there. 470 balls and it has about 30 plus mappings for different different tournaments we got la liga the premier bundesliga etc already set for you but i want to cover at the end of the video we're going to cover cover how to do the manual selection of the balls so stick around we're not done yet all right, so let's open this, and now we should have that ball server. It still reads ball server, so but it is the new one. 
and look at all the balls that are there. It's amazing how many designs they got. And, uh, and here are the mappings. They have already mapped a number of tournaments, etc. As you see here, we got the Premier League, which we we're looking, and we're going to apply this. And the games you're going to see from on now, the Leeds United Master League that I'm running is going to get the benefit of using the proper ball for the, for the league. And in this folder, you can map the teams if you want to have a particular ball when you're using a particular team, all right? But that will be content for another video, guys. I wanted to make sure that I get this, this to you so you can start using it. Very well, so we are all set now. We prepare the stage, got those two files, and now um, lo loaded the latest ball server. And let me review this with you. Remember that we need to have that common lib should be there at the top. That instruction at the ball server instruction should be there in the configuration uh, uh, file. So very good. I'm going to get out of here. And I want to make sure that we're going to run it and show that it works. So I'm going to accelerate through time here. All right. So we hit the space bar on the keyboard to activate the overlay. And you see at the, at the very top, it says CIDR 7.0. And that is for 2021. Now, I'm going to take you through some of the, some of the basic functions here on how to move through the balls and how to manually activate the cider for selecting a ball that you want. So here we got the automatic map assignment and you see that uh, with number one, you switch through all the servers that you have, hitting number one. So right now it's got an automatic map assignment and it's mapped properly because it's got for an English match, on the Premier League, it's got the ball that they are currently used, which is a cool thing. And this is what we're going to use for our Master League. Now, if you hit number nine, it makes you, it gives you the option to select the ball you want by hitting page up or page down. And you can scroll, scroll through all these guys, all these balls. But you see, there's a Juventus there. That's pretty cool. But the team specific one, if you want to just for fun, you know, just have that. So you just scroll a little bit more. I wanted to show you that they have some of the classic balls as well. Let me see if I can get to it. I know I saw them. You kind know, of the old, very old. Oh, here they are. Yeah. The ball. <laughs> Look at this. The leather ball. Really all one style, the classic black and white ball. That's pretty cool. All right. Now I'm going to go back to automatic assignment and show that this works in the game. So let's hit the time warp and here are in the game. I'll cut some of the transitions and get you to the match. And there is the ball guys. Werner is on top of it, ready to start the game. So thank you for watching, guys. If you have any questions, please send me, send me a comment or an email, and I'll try to get back to you guys. Yeah, Alexandre Lacazette. He really is a top-class striker, Peter. His movement is so sharp and instinctive.